This is the small market of Kituku on the banks of Democratic Republic of Congo's Lake Kivu. It's now a crucial source of food for over two million people, including those who fled violence in the country's east. That's after an intensifying conflict between the army and rebels disrupted supplies to the eastern city of Goma. Roads have been cut off, leaving people like banana seller Esperance Nyota dependent on the scant supplies arriving in Kutuku via canoes. She fears an impending famine if the situation persists. The country's authorities must do everything in their power to end the war. It's sure that after the war, everything will be fine. They must do everything to end this war. Clashes in towns and villages around the provincial capital have escalated since the start of the year. As the M23 rebel group has seized territory, thousands have sought refuge in Goma. Around 135,000 have fled the town of Sake in the past week, according to the United Nations Refugee Agency. They join hundreds of thousands displaced around Goma since 2022, due to the ongoing fighting. The UN agency has warned that the conflict, including indiscriminate bombing, risks exacerbating the strain on already limited resources to cater for the influx. Akili Mali Kasalemba was injured by bomb shrapnel while fleeing his village. We were many. Seven of us died on the spot and many others were injured. It was like this during the escape. The bombs fell on us. Some died and others survived. Protesters marched in Goma on Monday against the resurgent rebels. Congo's government, UN officials and Western powers have accused Rwanda of supporting M23, which claims to defend ethnic Tutsi interests against Hutu militias, whose leaders participated in the 1994 Rwandan genocide. Rwanda has refuted the allegations.